So now in this video I thought we would look at something really quickly and that is barrel plug polarity as the uh, title will show. So in any case I was looking at my replacement AC adapter here for my laptop. It outputs uh, 19 volts right there up to a maximum of 3.42 uh, amps. But of course generally you try to keep that as low as you can to get the power needs uh, met. And uh, inputs uh, anywhere from 100 to uh, 240 volts. That's the uh, regular uh, frequency there, up to about uh, 1.8 amps maximum. Again, you don't aim for that. That is maximum. So the video is about the uh, barrel plug polarity. So here it's telling us that the uh, inside of this, the middle part in there, the tip, is the uh, positive side of the power supply. And the ring, the outside, even though it's open on the side there. That's talking about this ring here, which is not open on the outside, is the more negative side of the power supply. We are going to uh, test that out with this uh, multimeter here. So it's not always like that, where positive is on the inside and negative is on the outside. But uh, most of the time, you'll probably find that that is the case. So we're gonna set this to measure voltage and we're gonna do an extra reading today. Here you can see when I set it to voltage, it's already to DC. I leave the red plug there for everything but high current. And uh, let's zoom in a little bit. And we can see that it's labeled right here that we can get to a maximum of uh, 600 volts. And uh, for this plug here, a maximum of 800 milliamps. So 19 volts is uh, plenty far from 600 volts. Now we'll put the red probe in the middle and as long as the uh, inside here is positive, the outside is negative, we should get a positive voltage right there. 19 volts. So let's say we assumed the uh, middle is negative right there, which we know it's not right now. And uh, we assume the outside is positive. Now you see we got a negative voltage right there. So that's plenty safe to do to the meter. But uh, when you get a negative voltage there, you know that you have the probes backwards. And uh, unless a negative voltage is what you want. So again, there we go. Now, as I said before we saw, we can measure up to 600 volts right here. Since we got alternating current coming from the outlet, and by the way, this is a cheap replacement. This falls off really easily. If I move around, it'll pop right off. But in any case, coming from uh, the outlet is uh, alternating current. So I don't think we're gonna get uh, that focused. But you can see we got the uh, auto DC. The uh, setting here, you can see there's a straight line and below it, a wavering line. So that's alternating current. That means we have options. So now we got AC and pretty straightforward to uh, measure this. I will uh, zoom back a little bit. So we don't wanna touch the metal here. So that's ground in the middle, uh, earth ground, not electrical ground. And uh, so we put the black, doesn't matter uh, which side, and the red on the other side. And there you can see 120 ohms right there. And if we have it on uh, DC, you're gonna see that uh, we got a different voltage. That's because it's changing direction. And uh, so it's gonna show a, a lower voltage. So when it comes to uh, alternating current, Right now, we have uh, kind of an average, it's called the root mean square, but uh, we have kind of an average voltage. It's changing directions. Sometimes it's higher than 120, sometimes it's lower than 120 in each direction. But overall, we're getting about uh, 120 consistently. So again, you don't want to touch the metal at all with that. But uh, this plastic should be thick enough to protect us from 600 volts. So, in any case, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post the screen. Also, make sure you, uh, let's put that back to a DC. Make sure you get the meter off of uh, measuring anything. Turn it off. I think this auto turns off at some point. But uh, in any case, turn off the meter. I'll see you in the next video.